The sea emerged from the darkness, from the void, with storms of spume and foam. And Aphrodite was inevitably born, her majestic temple so divine before sinking. Those Illyrian walls drowned in time untold. In her place they built a shrine for San Marco, Agios Marcos, the preacher, the martyr, dying for their new god in preference across a tiny mark of reverence. The carer of the candles, sharing a life with the shrine. The scent of flowers not yet decayed marks his path to the dwelling. He walks unafraid to the sea where his sins wash away in the tide. The children once played, then learnt, then toiled, like slavery, bought by survival. A denial of life outside their walls, the workplace brought down, not by neglect or time, but by greed and grief and market forces. They built a palace for the people of wealth, drachmas and sterling and gold. They paid with marks and travellers checks to hold their yachts in seaside docks. They left to age and cruise away, as Gnadiga Mädchen, Regazzi and Lads, paid with euros and plastic bank cards for lager and pizza and drugs. A sun-bronzed Adonis sat at the plastic table on his bright blue plastic chair. He ate calamari with fries and green salad and drank holy cola and played with his guzzo. Calimera, calispera, he came and he went. And the chair and the table were put into store. Ochi, ochi, the people cried, negating the law to make themselves poor. But ne, the yes is one, and the tourists come to complain of the poverty and to burn in the sun.
and the spume and the foam slip away and the tide 